Hi, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm doing a different kind of a video. I am going to be doing an Amazon haul. I enjoy watching them every now and then and thought I would do one for you. I don't order a lot from Amazon for my business, Joyous Garden, but I did place an order in January. This was all placed at one time. So it's all related to houseplant gardening. A couple things to outdoor gardening, but most to houseplant gardening. So it's, it's not gonna be like, I bought a blender and I bought a pair of socks and then I bought some eye drops. No, this is all, this is all things that I wanted for my indoor garden. I'm just trying to mix it up a bit, do some different, you know, videos because it's much easier to make a video and not have a blog post go along with the video too. So this is a video only thing going on here, but we're going to start with something that I use almost every day. And those are my micro snips. They are pruning snips. The brand that I like is Fiskars. These are the ones I currently have. I got them when I worked at a nursery in Berkeley back in the late 90s. Yes, the last century. And they've held up great. But I talk about them in you know, videos and I say, oh, there's a new model. And I'm like, oh, I might as well get the new pair here. So this is uh, one of them. They also have some that have like a gray handle to them, but these are the ones that I got. And these are great for house plants with thinner stems, which a lot of them have thinner stems. You can cut snake plant leaves with these vines, all that sort of thing. If you've got a Janet Cray, um, a Dracaena liso or a plant that's a thicker plant, then you're going to want a pair of bigger pruners, but these are great. I also use them for harvesting herbs. Now, I also got this pair here too. It's, it's Floragard. They have a lot of uh, reviews on Amazon and they were cheaper than the Fiskars. I just like the way that the Fiskars feel. That's just how how I go by it, I have small hands that these are heavier, these are light, so I prefer these. You might prefer these. Oh, by the way, the links to everything will be down below. I'm not really saying the prices because sometimes they change, you know how Amazon is. You know, something will be on sale or, or whatever. I think I paid like $12 for these and maybe about seven or eight for these. These, I don't remember, I got them so long ago. <laughs> but I, um, I'm sticking with my Fiskars because they have been good to me in my many years that I was a professional gardener. In case you didn't know, I was a professional gardener in the Bay Area and I use these a lot. So that is our first item. So the second item is this white bubble pot here. And I've, I've got one of my African violets in it. Holds it just fine. I think it's a five inch you know, diameter, so it holds a four inch plant just beautifully. You could also put a Phalaenopsis orchid or a bromeliad in here and it would be just beautiful also. Or of course, how could I forget the Kalanchoes? <laughs> so those would be nice, but it's just a, a nice, simple style, sort of modern, but it would go with any kind of a decor. And what is nice about it, another thing, maybe besides its form, is it has a plug in the bottom and you can take out the plug and you can plant directly in it and it will have a drainage hole. And I can't remember if it comes in other colors or not. Mm. I should have looked that up. Anyway, anyway, I like the white and I got the white and I think it was around 
I'm not even going to say, because I, I can't remember the price, but as I said, I said, everything will be down below and also in the pinned comment. And the pinned comment is the first comment down below in case you don't know that. As some of you know, I have 70 plus house plants. So I like to um, stagger some in height a bit. And I got these, oops, these risers. They come in a set of two. They are rattan with caning on the top. And this holds a four inch plant beautifully. And this holds a six inch plant. Let me just zip on over and get that African violet. Let's see if it fits on there just beautifully. So it just raises it up a little bit if you want to do like a staggered display. I have that plant table. I'm gonna put them on my plant table to sort of stagger the pot. Height also, you could also use it to display your home decor also, but they're very light and they also nest inside each other for storage too. So I just thought that they were a great and uh, I look forward to putting them on my plant table, which I'm doing right after this because I'm restyling my plant table. <laughs> And next we have this lovely container. <laughs> it's, it's interesting anyway. This is my smaller rubber plant. Uh, I have one over in the corner there that's about 10 feet tall. Oh, speaking of rubber plants, if you're interested in rubber plant care, head to our um, website, joyousgarden.com, because I just updated the blog post. And, uh, uh, and of course, here's Tazzy come to join in. I don't know. There's something about the camera that he, re he really likes. This is the container here. It, as you can see, is burlap here. It's a canvas print inside. You can take it up all the way so it's just solid burlap. It doesn't fold really, really easy. It's not impossible, but, but it's not like, okay, fine. <laughs> but I could turn it on the inside out and have it be the print with the burlap as a trim. And that's kind of fun. And what I, what I like about this is it's very light. I like to move plants around, so it's really great that way. You can sort of adjust it to fit the size of the plant and the pot, which is good too, because for instance, <laughs> hello, cat. Um, for instance, this is in an eight inch pot now, and probably towards mid spring, I'm gonna be putting it in a 10 inch pot because some of the roots are starting to come out a bit, but it'll still fit in this pot. I can just raise it up a little bit, or raise up the edge, and it's great. So if you like to, so if you like to uh, change your mind about decor, or if you just want to have something that folds up easy, that's really light, this is a great pot. And it gives a, it's sort of a casual vibe. The print on the other side would give another vibe. And then it does come in other prints also. So you have a choice on it too. And it came in this really cool, I saved the envelope. Here is the envelope here, which of course I love because it has cactus on it and I live in Tucson, Arizona in the desert. So it, it comes in kind of a fun wrapper. Okay, move, moving right along here. The next thing is trellises or stakes. Because if you know, if you have plants, they're gonna grow. And it's okay if some of them hang down, but some flop over or you want some to grow up. So I have been investing in different kinds of stakes. I just placed an order on Etsy. Also, I got one for my monstrous Monstera. <laughs> and a few other ones too. But I got this one, which I thought was kind of fun on Amazon. 
Um, obviously, because this is an Amazon haul, and it's just circles, and there's three of them. And what you do is you can extend it by taping or wiring them right there. So this is what I'll start with in this plant here. And then as it starts to grow, I can add the third one on. And if it's not quite sturdy enough in a couple years, I'll just change it out. This is my philodendron silver sword. And it is starting to do this. This is getting very heavy here. So I haven't quite decided. I'll probably decide day of um, if I'm going to cut it, propagate it, and then uh, put it in. Well, gosh, if I'm going to propagate it, I should think about that before, right? <laughs> so, but these propagate very easily because they have the aerial roots. And then there's this small piece of growth back here I want to grow up a little more. So I figure a trellis is always handy. And as I said, this is a lightweight one. So if you have something really heavy, you'll want to look for something more um, sturdy. But I just like this, you know, circular stuff going on here. So the last item I haven't even opened up yet. <laughs> so I thought, ah, we'll do it together. I just cut the plastic apart. It's one of those woven baskets, they call them. Baskets, let's see, what is it? I think it's 15 by, it's 16, 16 wide by 14 high. So let's see what this thing looks like here. Ugh. Oh boy, a string for kitties, woo, yay. <laughs> Here we go, bye-bye. Um, so, oh, it has a tassel to, oh, it's, it has handles, oh. So you could probably use it as like a small laundry basket or a shopping basket. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to uh, shape it out. They recommend putting stuff in here like towels or something to shape it out because it's been folded up for so long. So here it is here. So it could hold a 14 inch plant. I figure it's always good to have, have that. I've also been giving away a lot of my plants and I've been giving away some of the containers too, just because I have a lot of plants and I'll probably want to get more at some point or new ones, you know, just to talk about, do videos, or I might have two of one plant. So I've been giving them to people. So anyway, I think this will come in handy. So here it is. And I think you can just hang the tassel off of here too, if you want a tassel detail on it. And when I said it's lined, it's lined with like a natural material. It's not lined with plastic or anything. So you would definitely need a saucer to go inside it and perhaps a cork or a, fit or a felt mat to go under it to protect your floor just in case the water leaked out. But th this is a nice style too. And I believe it comes in other patterns too. Or if you wanted to hold, hold some beach towels or some towels, it, it'd be great for that too. So that is the that is the end of my Amazon haul. We have a lot of plant stores and nurseries and garden centers here in Tucson, so I buy most of my things you know, locally, but I like to order every once in a while if there's something I can't find or if there's something I wanna share with you. So I hope you found this to be helpful or interesting if you're looking for some sort of accessories or uh, tools for your house plants. I guess the only tools, I guess you could call the, the pruners are definitely tools. The trellis, I would call more like an accessory in case you're trying to find any. And as I said, the links will all be below and in the pinned comment for you. And as always, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will catch you 
in the next video, which will be some sort of a plant video. <laughs>